Alrighty, back again. I am recording these back to back, I'm telling you. But yeah, um, we came back to the action. Shit about to get real. So let's go. No, no long intro. Yggdrasil. It's been too long. I've forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are... were... a very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. Treehouse. Lord Tear. You're really alive! Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, <laughs> let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. <laughs> well, I'll be. Hmm. So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Hold still. Hold still. Yep. Ah, <clears throat> oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, Tear. I'm going to turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tear. Sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? <laughs> if you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you! I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. And I'll arrange accommodations. I may need time to construct... So that's what's left to tear, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical. To be honest, it's all I can manage. All right. Um, some food then. Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hard tack. Hard tack. Any sort of humble ship's biscuit will do. I, with a pinch of salt. Well, I'll see what I can find. Put some herd on them. Okay, I think that's about that. Um, These will look real nice in my collection.
What'll it be? Good or what? Very good. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. That's... Need something special? <laughs> what do we got here? Would have been a shame to have left that behind. I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. Mm. The sleep of a free man without the Allfather's eye on me. That's where I get to rest. Okay, so Trance is probably just asleep already. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. 
expect too much. Aye, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No, I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh! You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look. Let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Okay. Glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. You seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, <laughs> I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. You get to actually play as Atreus. Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smell. Okay. Well, a lot's kind of happened, and I need answers. Dog, this is crazy. I did not expect to play as a trick, you know. Not so easy, huh? Shut up. Nah. <laughs> he tried to pull a tra uh, freaking Kratos with that. Nope. at me for. I gave you the fancy bowstring. Yeah. Oh. So, father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Huh. Yeah, I would need the blaze of chaos for that. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah. But I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. Get me off them. Venomous? What? I can't hit that? Really? That sucks. Alright. Anyway. Shh. 
Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Yum. Yes. Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. Hmm. Okay. Block. How'd the arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Uh, huh. Looks dwarven. Mm. Oh. It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? <laughs> okay, so we can't go that way. Where we came from. Ah. So Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment. And well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? It's me. Oh no. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching. Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Oh, oh. What? Oh my god! Shield. A little help would be nice. Uh, okay. Right. Oh my God. Get you dirty collar on. Ah, don't touch me. Wow, Sindri. Harsh words. Not sure he'll recover. Shut. You want my help or not? All right. All right. Oh. Oh my God. Yo, Atreus is losing
Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Gaffer. Yo, his yo, his move set is amazing. I'm impressed. I I am impressed. You, I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? Yeah. If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent. There. Let's get going. This man just has that in his pocket, really? <sighs> Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. <laughs> well, we're here. Okay. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you no. That's not weird at all. A big wake up. And wow, that lightning's still there. I think it means. It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. Mm. Door's frozen. Maybe I can. 
Would you just let me do it? What are you gonna do, Sedgwick? So what was your plan, anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck. Hey, don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. <laughs> Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Yo! Just making sure. Dude, you scared the hell out of me just now. Good on health right now. No way. We're so close. The Alpha. Nice. Okay. Oh. Let's do this. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. I promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Vessel, I wish it did. <laughs> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you then, this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. What is this? Yes, 
bit heavy. Okay. I don't think I can break this. I need to find another way around. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Hit the fire pot! Jump up, please! Just keep going. Okay. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Rock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. Living is an option. <laughs> Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Okay. is that low Need to destroy the sonic piece first. Hmm. All right, I just need to get a different angle on the soundstone. I didn't even notice that thing was there. Mere fact that I can't destroy those two. Man, if 
father could see me now, he would lose it. Yeah. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. I mean, there's no way of me getting brought. Maybe if you listen to me, could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Oh, okay. So much health. Actual sponges, like, come on, bro. Are you kidding me right now? Oh. 
keep going up. Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? I wish I had a compass. down there. Whoa! Whoa! 
how I can't see I got this, right? Ooh. Yeah, I got this. Shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Okay. I'm gonna need that. I'm not. That's going to come in handy later. Uh, excuse me. Okay. There you go. I might run it back. Is that you up there? Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets? I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. Yep. That's the door. Oh boy. <clears throat> hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean. Okay, yeah. I should probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Why am I wearing this around my neck? 
the arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... Question, you need to hide that. I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. Yeah, you, you, you... You did not think this through at all, sir. Oh, wow, there she is. Yeah, Atreus is nuts. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What Gosh. makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! You would stake your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to <clears throat> Odin. Nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us! Offered peace if we don't move against him! <laughs> Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfarn. Impossible! The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father.
using melee attacks against an enemy inflicted with Sonic, deal bonus stun damage. Okay. Well, there's a lot to do with this. Mm. He doesn't have any stats on. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. Good thing I like climbing. Okay. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I'm starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Mm. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it. Didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? Hmm. I... I just fixed that! <laughs> I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Huh. Since you've come clean and all. No way! He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. Uh... I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Um, what secret is that? Huh. Ah. Uh, did they ever quit? Yeah. Uh. 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 
These stupid nightmares. Uh, do they ever quit? Ervaluta! You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. What? I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Bro, what? So Brock is technically dead? Dump that kind of information just like that. Yeah. You did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. Hmm. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. <laughs> oh, that would be a nice nickname for him. 
So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Uh. Nope. That was worse. <laughs> oh. And I heard it when I said it. Oh, gosh. All right. Shall we? Hmm. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. Go, go, go. That is an the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Oh, uh you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. <laughs> what? Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Uh, what is this scene? <laughs> Tear, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. Hmm. So... Where did this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. 
I was always fond of her talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Intrasil seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? I'm here for you. Read that one next. Okay. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Is that dragon still there? Sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. 
What the? My goodness, what a strapping physique. What is this? an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? What? This must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. Huh. Realms of possibility. That split with split like branches of each cell. I'll find a way to evolve on a difficult journey. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. So you can actually do some some real side missions here. Huh. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfheim mm. was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky high stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. 
You seem better now, Father. <laughs> Did they now? Yeah, why well, I have a feeling that that's... Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa's shrine. Hmm. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Interesting. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alpha hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. Hold up, hold up. So just here. A living desert. Huh. Let's see. The jewel of Alfheim. Our sacred and desert. Uh, Life, the majestic God, and there it is. Song of the Sands to the water way of turtles and lizards from the edge. Yeah, I heard some gazelle roaming the shifting things. All creatures of the deserts are given by the voice of the light. Take a moment with this and reflect. Keep on Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Hmm. Looks like there's. Now it's the dark elves that's getting stabbed up. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on best they can. <laughs> Perhaps we can reach that place here from above.
there. The Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Oh. Hold up. Y'all are too quick. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting the one of your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Huh. Oh, yes. Ah, very well. We up our rage. Let's go. <laughs> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different <laughs> <laughs> barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Oh! I didn't know it could do that. Huh. There's a gap in the fence over there. There's a gap in the fence over there. Oh. 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 Very clever. Interesting. Floaties. Interesting. Now, I assume we either have to climb up or go down. So I'm gonna take this. Mumir, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it.
Okay, that does that. What does this do? Wow, you literally took that move from Avengers. Avengers would do that one with the with Iron Man with Captain America. And, he, and hell, even Thor. Thor had this move too. Hmm. Fortunately, this thing doesn't have a stun. See, see if I like it or not. he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Yeah. That didn't go well. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Okay. Whoa. Is that a bomb? <laughs> okay. We're the ones who breathe the light. Once we're inside, is there truly no other way? Not like they're getting it. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No, just an optimist, old friend. Okay. All right. Very soon I'm gonna be stopping this episode. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. 
What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Okay. Well, I can't take care of this one, unfortunately. Because I don't have the <laughs> proper tools for this. <laughs> so, that's a missable one. At least for now. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. <laughs> I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you Unfortunately go. for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Hmm. Shall we? We shall. Bro, who was that? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Parts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. Hmm. What's that sound? No <gasps> sense in spoiling the surprise. Yeah, this is not any good. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> it's the light. Ah! Ow. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to this newfound power, and thus the Light Elves were born. Hmm. Now, what do we got going on here? Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Yeah. Oh, well, that's just too bad. Speaking of light elves, oh, let me try okay. talking to them again. They Thanks may just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Careful! Behind! 
on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. And what that... What would that be? <clears throat> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Trying to wait. <clears throat> Interesting. Yes, up here. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. He does this sometimes. Ah, <laughs> curious mind. Carry on. Wow, they even comment <laughs> commentate on this now. Only a Guardians of the Galaxy here. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Yeah, now why would you tell them that? The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. He just like to be thorough. I see. By all means. Right away, brother! Whoa! These things smell awful. Now, how do I do this? What? Yeah! Dang! Yo, what was that? Anything, uh, anything you want? Got ourselves a fire frost. Um. Okay. Huh. 
Huh. Glad we explored. What is this now? Shall we continue? Yeah. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Yeah, but how do I... Oh. <laughs> You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? Why <laughs> people are known for their culture? Not surprise. Esteem. <laughs> Gotta be a better angle on that twilight. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. <gasps> oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Oh! Okay. Lighter! Throw your weapon at it! Okay. Ow! Oh. Yo! 
Fighting. The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. What I said is much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. I'm sorry. Did you say that? Did you say I was right? made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Why not simply hold it in place? Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? On your left! your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother. Why would I choose a favorite? Why do I keep finding these things? Okay. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Then. Oh, oh, okay. Up here. <laughs> um, 
Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and share. If you're new to the channel, you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel. Follow all my social media in the description down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Till then, you guys have a good one, and uh, deuces.